Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yick and today we are doing a grocery haul. It's not a huge haul, but I had some, got some like significant things I was actually really impressed with and I was really happy with. So I wanted to share them with you. My haul was from No Frills. So I did spend out of pocket $57 for all this, which was a pretty awesome, awesome steal. I mean, that's with a loyalty points reward that I got too from No Frills. So if you are not familiar with the Optimum points, they they do have a program which is also affiliated with Joe Fresh, Superstore, No Frills, and Shoppers all together. And you can get points and also SO Now, which is amazing. And you get these optimum points. And I basically I use those optimum points for groceries. So yay! Originally it was $87 and I got $30 off because of the points. So I am very, very pleased with that. The groceries here should last probably about two weeks. I am still on my two relatively two week, two to three weeks actually um grocery runs we only go out for grocery runs for about once every two to three weeks and normally we do need to go out to buy things like milk and bread if um i also want sandwich bread i do make my own bread um but i feel like it it doesn't stay soft as long and so it's harder to make like sandwiches i don't know if you have a really great bread machine sandwich bread recipe drop it in the comments below guys because i'm still looking for one i've tried multiple ones i love Love it day one day two super delicious but by day three it's kind of like yeah it's kind of dry and crumbly and it makes great french toast but anyhow let's get on to this haul so the first thing i got was the whole reason why i went out because i ran out of milk so i have two bags of milk here um i use i'm doing a lot more baking and cooking and so this should last us hopefully it'll last us two weeks normally I only buy one and yes this was deflated because i literally ran out of milk and you never need milk so um I got uh, two bags. I'm going to see whether or not we can get through this in about two weeks' time. I also got some compostable kitchen bags. Nelson created this whole new system for us, which is amazing. I'm going to show you guys all of our kitchen hacks in a video at one point because we are, as you can tell from there, we're still in the midst of our renovations right now. Uh, it's going to be years, guys. But one day, once it's all done, I'll take you on a renovation tour because Nelson's doing a fabulous job. I'm so proud of him. But it takes a lot more time. got two jars of unsweet applesauce. Nathaniel needs applesauce every single day. He needs it for his dessert. I bought rice flour because rice, um, Nathaniel, he, we suspect that he might actually have an allergy to eggs. And so I'm going to be making uh, homemade rice noodles for him. Nelson wants me to try to make it fresh so there's no preservatives. We'll see how that goes. Never done it before, but I think it's going to be a fun activity to do maybe this weekend. Also got two boxes of the tropical juice. This one, and the, uh, Ginevra actually surprisingly really liked it. has no sugar added and it's really tasty. Lots and lots of flavor. And almost everything that I bought guys were uh, was on sale. Next off we got, we got a thing of sugar. But like I said, I'm doing a lot of baking and um, I just need sugar for all these baked goods that we're making. I did buy some clearance bread. For my bread, I bought the sesame bagel it was on sale for a dollar fifty which i thought was decent price in Geneva does like the odd bagel every now and then um but i got some clearance bread here and they were on 50 percent off so this worked out to be like a dollar forty which is cheaper than the sale price of other stuff and i really like the country harvest so we should probably be able to get through this you know just by having a couple of sandwiches in, a, in about a week or so so it should be fine if you store it in a place where it's out of the sun and it's a cooler area it's not going to go stale but like this one we always toast but it won't go stale and it's uh, it won't mold up this is naan so i've never tried this brand of naan i've been making my own hummus so i thought that this would be really nice to dip the hummus in and we just kind of just reheat it up so what my plan is because this this is a whole kilogram of naan, which is a lot of naan for us. Uh, my plan is I'm going to divide these up and put them in the freezer because I heard that they do freeze really well. I also ended up getting Ginevra a little treat of vanilla pudding. Not healthy, but every now and then she does enjoy some pudding, so I let her have a pudding as a dessert. We got some cremini mushrooms. Now, the interesting thing about the mushrooms is they have this at No Frills, which is just like naturally imperfect. So they have this huge container, which is 680 grams, which is more than um, more than double. It's almost like almost triple this. Yeah, almost triple this. And they were the exact same price. So they were both 
two dollars which is crazy so i know that these ones i'm gonna have to eat first and this one i can save for probably you know about five days to a week so i'm going to make this in my sauce what i do is i, I dice it up super duper fine and i put it into my spaghetti sauce as um, a meat replacement we're not vegetarian or anything but i do try to kind of you know have some meals where we you know decrease the amount of animal protein that we're taking so the mushrooms they add a really nice texture and they barely notice so i like i sometimes i'll like put in a little bit of ground meat but i'll put in a lot of the mushroom and just that texture is there and everyone's happy so i'm like sure why not it's also cheaper Continuing on this, I got a bunch of chayote. Chayote is like a pear, or I think there's also another name for it. It's called pear squash. I've never seen them on sale at No Frills. I actually never even noticed that the No Frills had it. And so I dice these up and we put them in soups. Um, I heard some people eat them raw. I've never tried it raw, but uh, you peel and they get rid of the pit inside. And they're so yummy in soups. Um, they also taste really good as a stir fry. So I got some for myself and for my mom carrots just because we need carrots the veggie straws never tried this particular flavor i've been promising Ginevra i would look for veggie straws on sale and i finally found it these ones are rosemary and olive oil should be tasty she likes these i prefer these over chips for her because it does have natural flavoring and there's no artificial coloring to it i know it's not healthy but it's a healthier choice now, the other thing I got, um, two things of international delight. We've tried the French vanilla one. Right now, we're, drink we're drinking the coffee, ethical coffee bean, and it is so yummy. And I got, I mixed in the French vanilla um, coffee whitener, and oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'm having the lush one right now. It's so delicious. I found another one, and it's southern butter pecan. So I thought, that, hmm, I like butter pecan ice cream, so why not? We'll make it like a dessert coffee. Uh, they were both on sale. They work out to be about the same price as the small ones when they are on sale. So maybe like 10 cents more, but I figured, you know, I don't want so many loose little things, like loose little um, jars in my fridge. But also in addition, I didn't want to have to go to yet another store just to pick up some other stuff. You got to take, take in consideration, lineups are a little bit longer now. And also, you know, it's just the... For us, the more different places we go, we just feel it's a slightly higher risk. So we're just being careful. Got a cauliflower, one of the hearty vegetables. We love to roast these in the uh, oven or stir fry. Stir fry with just like some pork or something with the uh, oyster sauce. It's really good. Bananas I got because Nathaniel also loves bananas. So we got two different um readiness of it so you know one he should be able to eat probably by ten uh, yeah he probably have some of this one of these tonight and then this hopefully last a couple more days later bacon was an awesome deal so bacon was half price i've been noticing that bacon prices have definitely gone up so they were on less than half price and i got the ones that are 50 percent less salt so so that we can kind of control our sodium intake not that when you're eating bacon are really healthy i don't it's not healthy, but it's tasty, and we haven't had bacon in a couple of months. So, mm, Jennifer likes bacon every now and then on our pancake days or on our French toast days. So, they have pork chops that were on for also for less than half price. And so, we're set to be just over a dollar per each and so for nelson Ginevra and i two pork chops would be more than enough for a meal so that's going to be really economical as well as you know it's just sometimes really nice just to have like a piece of meat that you can just kind of really cut into potatoes were a good price these are new crop white potatoes they were a dollar 97 for a 10 pound bag i've discovered um korean potato pancakes which are super duper easy to make and they're delicious but if you want a really good um potato pancake recipe La i can't pronounce it probably laxes lax yeah anyways look up babish's one binging with babish it is amazing balls it's so good best one i've ever had and hey if i can make it they're fairly easy to make two bags of the frozen um, i better get them in the freezer they won't be frozen much longer crinkle cut mccain's potato these ones i got because we have an air fryer and it's amazing to use an air fryer to crisp up um fries at home oh my gosh it's so good and it's so easy highly recommend it if you don't have an air fryer i'll put the link for the ones that we have below and it is so easy to use like i can't go back to just putting them in the oven it makes such a difference the flavors there and it's healthy because you're not deep frying i got a carton of eggs these are full price but we always need to have some eggs around for baking and breakfast and whatnot as well as this was an amazing place these armstrong cheeses so regular i was looking for for cheese because nathaniel likes to have cheese as a snack i was looking at even like the no-name store brand and it was something like six dollars 
for 450 grams so the regular bar and i'm like eh, it's okay price but um, we still have a little bit of mozzarella okay so maybe we can hold off for two weeks and um wait for it to go on sale so then i walked by right before i checked out i saw these the armstrong ones i was like oh my gosh they were a dollar fifty for 210 grams so at about 450 it would work out be just over three dollars equivalent for the, for the uh, for the bar and I love Armstrong cheese it's super tasty it's really yummy so I end up getting two of the marble and one of the Monterey Jack with jalapeno this is so good this one is so yummy of course it's not for the thing you're never this is for me but this one is super duper yummy and I uh, just awesome like crackers and things oh, yum, yum, yum. so I thought it was a really good price and I mean it doesn't expire until um, November and December so there's still plenty of time to get through them that's my haul guys $50 out of pocket I am so happy with this like $80 yeah it's not bad but um, $50 out of pocket I'm really pleased with it uh, granted some of the items were on clearance and almost everything here was on sale the only thing I paid full price for milk applesauce but for that I got the store brand eggs and bananas Everything else was on promotional price and like I said should last us for probably about two weeks The only thing I would be concerned about is milk um, We might have to go out again for the milk, but I I might I should be able to make it last so yeah Overall, I'm happy for you know a family of four to spend approximately $50 on groceries. That's really good. Mind you. I mean, this is not the only thing I'm going to be cooking I do have like other things in my fridge and stuff that I'll pad for meals and things like that So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching If you enjoy haul videos and grocery haul videos, make sure you let me know by giving me a big fat thumbs up on this video And let me know in the comments below have your shopping habits changed? Do you still find yourself going out less right now? I mean for sure we definitely are going out a lot less than what we used to do But if you are let me know in the comments below how you plan out your meals and everything because you know what there's just some days I'm like I don't know what to cook I don't even know what I want to cook because <laughs> we haven't gone out for any food like we have been home cooking everything since lockdown which I'm not complaining we're very lucky and we're very grateful the fact that we can afford to stock up and you know I have a husband that can cook and I can cook and my mom's been <laughs> cooking for me too she's bought me some like frozen goodies today like dumplings and stuff so I am very grateful for that but yeah let me know in the comments below how are you guys meal planning and have your shopping um, habits changed if you're new to this channel make sure you do click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification I'm posting up videos on here as as often as I can. I do have a second channel guys, The Dancing Avon Lady, where you see my dance adventures and my beauty reviews and my business dance, but on my vlog channel, it's take me a little bit more time just because, I mean, I just don't have enough time to get everything done right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's really, that's really it. Just, I have content for you guys. I just don't have time to edit it. Yeah. But anyways, Thanks so much for watching. Oh, if you guys like this lipstick color, it is the Birthday Bomb from Avon in Birthday Suit. It's like my go-to lip color. I love this lip color. It's just, it's like my perfect My Lips But Butter nude shade. <gasps> love it. Anyways, I'm digressing. Have a wonderful day, guys. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.